Hi boys and girls, I just wanted to take some time out today to go over some phonics work with you, some um, just some fun with words. So if you have a paper and pencil handy, you can keep that out. If you need to pause the video and go grab that, um, I'll let you go do that now. So before we begin, I wanted to go over all of the short vowel sounds that we've talked about so far in kindergarten. And I want you to try to echo me, okay? I insect I. O octopus ah. E elephant eh. A astronaut ah. Awesome job, guys. Those are all the short vowel sounds that we've done so far in kindergarten. And these are our letters of the week. We have J, J, J. And W waterfall W. All right, I'm gonna leave our two letters of the week up here, J and W. So remember those two sounds, as well as remember all those short vowel sounds that we've learned. And as I stretch and tap out the words, you're gonna try to write uh, in paper and pencil uh, the sounds, the letters that you hear. All right. So here comes your first word. The word is job, job, j, ob. Job. I'm going to write it on my board as well, just like we would in school. And remember, keep your words hidden. Don't show me yet. On the count of three, we'll flip. Okay? If you think you have it ready, one, two, three, flip and show me. Awesome job, guys. Lowercase j. O, B, j, ob. Job. And notice the lowercase j goes through that bottom line, okay? Write as neatly as you can job awesome job awesome job all right the next word i want you to try to write for me is the word wes that's a boy's name so what do you think we need to do hmm is it a noun or is it a proper noun you got it right proper noun a proper noun is a special name of a person place or thing wes is a special name so make sure you have what it needs, okay, in the beginning. I won't give you the letter. Is it J or is it W? You tell me. W S Wes. All right, go ahead. On the count of three, you guys can show me again. One, two, three, flip. Did you get that right? It's a proper noun. Wes needs an uppercase W. W S Wes. Notice this has the short sound of E. E says eh, eh, elephant. Wes. Good job. Comes your new word. This word has a blend. Do you remember what a blend is? A blend can be found in the beginning or end of the word. And it's when two letters come together to still make their same sound, but they kind of come together. Are you ready to hear this? It's grin. Grin. And it's got more than three more than three letters because there's going to be more than three sounds. So it's g r n g r n grin. All right. See if you can do it. It's a blend in the beginning. G r n. Show me what you got, guys. Let's see. Good job. Did you see the g r there? That's the blend. G r Grr, I, n, grin, G R I N. Do you hear the vowel sound? Short I says, I, I, insect, grin. Awesome job. Do you remember what a grin is in your story? What's a grin? I'm doing it now. It's a smile. You're grinning. I hope you are. Here comes another one. This word is jet. Jet. J, et. Go ahead and try it. Ready to show me? Jet. Awesome job. Lowercase j. E T jet. J et. Short sound of E. Eh, eh, elephant. Remember to do your best handwriting there. Lowercase, all those uh, letters because it's not a proper noun. Just just a word. Jet. I have a word that rhymes with jet. So you're only gonna really need to change one letter. Okay. It rhymes, which means the middle and ending sounds sound the same. This word is wet. 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 Can you 
try to spell that word. Wet. Okay, one, two, three. Flip and show me what you got. W-E-T. Good job. Wet. Wet. Awesome. All right, guys, you can put your paper and pencil down. And what I want you to try to do now, you can just grab a paper that's handy. Um, and I want you on one side of the paper to make the letter J. And then on the other side, I want you to make the letter W, okay? So if you want to pause the video now and go do that, you only need like one piece of paper. Grab whatever's handy. It could be an index card, a sticky note. In this case, it's just my little notebook. So J on the one side and W on the other. All right, so we're going to play a little phonics game. And I'll wait for you. All right, boys and girls. So as I say these words, I'm going to I'm going to stretch them out and I'm going to tap them out. And you have to decide whether they begin with J, J or W, W. So if you are listening to the sounds, remember, you're going to hold up your J if you think it starts with the J sound, J. Or if you think it starts with the W sound, w, you're going to hold up your W. All right, so here we go. Just a fast kind of speed race game. So get ready. We'll take it slow for a few a few of these though. You ready? Jump. Jump. J -ump. Jump. Show me your letter. Did you get it right? J. 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 Jump. Okay, here comes the next one. This word is went went w went went did you pick w w w went awesome comes a new word jan j an jan is it w or is it j what do you think jan jan needs an uppercase j because it's a proper noun it's a special name of a Little girl or a woman, J, Jan. Okay, here we go. We're going to go a little faster now. And this time I'm not going to stretch and tap them out. I just want you to hold up whether it's a J for J or whether it's a W for W. So you ready? We're going to go a little faster. Walrus. Good job. Jelly. Awesome. Wes. We spelled that one out already. So see if you remember. Wes. And Wes also needs an uppercase W. It's a special name of a boy or a man. Wes is a boy's name. It's a proper noun. Okay, a couple more. Walrus. Walrus. Good job, guys. And last one, Jaguar. Jaguar. Awesome job. I hope you enjoyed this little quick phonics video today. Uh, really quick too, guys. I wanted to show you some fun things you could do for math. So I know we've been practicing a lot at home with little worksheets, but if you have any manipulatives, uh, anything really, uh, it could be rice, it could be pasta, it could be cereal, those can be used to be sorting and also to review addition and subtraction. I just have a, pa uh, a pair of dice here. Remember how we play in school. So if you roll, you can roll two to get your first number. So in this case, Mrs. Cloud rolled a three and a four. So you're going to put those two numbers together. Do you know what those two numbers make together? Four and three more. So count on from four, we have five, six, seven. Okay. So what you could do, if you have a paper or pencil at home, when you roll that pair of dice, you can make that number seven. Now, if we're going to talk about subtraction, which is when we use that minus sign, you can just take one more die and roll. So I'm going to roll mine, see, show you what I got. So I got a one, okay? I got a one. So then I'm going to put the number one. And remember, when you subtract, you take away. So if I put the equal sign here, that will help me solve. And parents, I don't know if, um, I know resources are kind of limited at home, but you know, Feel free to, uh, you could always do a number line. And I just made this up real quick. So if your subtraction sentence, boys and girls, is 7 minus 1, find 7 first. And which way do you want to go on the number line? Do you want to count forwards or do you want to go backwards? Remember, we're subtracting. Subtract means we count back, right? We subtract or take away. So what's 1 less than 7? What's the difference? Six. Very good. 
okay? And then if you want to do an addition sentence, then you would start to roll with maybe just one dice each. So this one, oh, I seem to be liking to roll ones here. All right, for this one, I rolled a two, and then I'm gonna roll my second dice. Oh, I got a three, okay? So this is my addition sentence. Remember, when we add, we use the plus sign. So this is two plus three, and then I'm gonna solve and put the equal sign there. Again, on my number line, if you have one handy, or if you just want to make one out of paper at home, I want you to find the bigger number. So look at this addition sentence again. Two plus three. Which one's bigger, boys and girls? Which one is greater or more? Okay, is it two or is it three? Three is bigger, okay? Three is more. So I'm going to find three on my number line, which is right here, and I'm going to count on two more. Now remember, if I'm adding, which way do I want to go on the number line? Do I want to count on going this way or do I want to count back remember I'm adding addition we put together three plus two did you get it you want to go two hops forward one two so what's the sum boys and girls of three plus two do you see where my finger is number five so three plus two is five okay so these are just some quick and easy fun things you could do at home it doesn't all have to be workbook pages just make it fun and use what you have i did have a couple questions parents about turning in homework so my suggestion is just to keep anything that i faxed um, or scanned over on email if you were able to print those workbook pages out you can definitely keep a folder handy at home if you're unable to print you could just keep that independent work on like loose leaf and turn that in a folder and any projects that we do at home as far as like experiments or different things like that you can feel free to send me a picture all right so i hope you all stay well i hope you have a good rest of your day and i will see you soon take care bye bye